Consider this age-old question. If you had $100 to donate, would you make a greater investment giving $10 to 10 people or $100 to one person? What about 1000 or even $10,000? In fact, we believe it's really more about the impact of the dollars rather than the number of recipients. As the golden glow of our 50th anniversary comes to a close, our attention turns to the next year and the decades that follow. We are, after all, constantly adapting to the needs of our stakeholders, donors, and communities. In the world of philanthropy, this is known as impact grant making, and it's guiding our efforts moving forward. It's based on using hard data through community needs assessments to actively recruit both donors and organizations who meet the needs determined by the data. Together, directing where and how we can make the greatest impact. The team at the Mount Dora Community Trust has made the creation of donor-advised funds, field of interest funds, or scholarships, easy to implement, execute, and administer, saving time, money, and the heavy lifting of setting up a nonprofit. Hi, my name is attorney Todd Mazenko. I do estate planning, which consists of wills, trusts, powers of attorney, and healthcare directives. I work with the Mount Dora Community Trust a lot because they deal with foundations and charitable giving. I have a lot of clients who are charitable-minded, but they're not quite sure how they want to give things. And so we use the Mount Dora Community Trust to do the how part. It's nice not only knowing that we work together professionally well, but I know them personally. They're good people, you know, and they ha always have the client's best interests at heart, just like I do. What inspires your philanthropic passion? Where can you make the most impact? Donor advised funds provide a flexible way to contribute assets over time and recommend grants for the local charities and causes you most want to support. Hi, my name is Tom Turner and my wife and I are co-founders of the Turner Charitable Trust. Under the auspices of the Mount Dora Community Trust, we will give back to the community by funding food programs for people in need. We also have done a lot of funding of reforestation of live oaks around the area. By having a charitable trust, now we're much more organized about how we do our donations. It's a very easy way to have all of the particulars of setting up a charitable trust. Field of interest funds are ideal for donors passionate about specific issues, such as education, healthcare, the arts, religious endeavors, or any other that may be important to the community, particularly as indicated by our focus on impact grant making. Hi, my name's Karen Lahip Smith, and I'm on the advisory board of the Rich Critters Fund that's managed through the Mount Dora Community Trust. So Marie Rich and I uh, met several years ago, and she let me know she had created this Rich Critters Fund with the Mount Dora Community Trust. Rich Critters was created to assist low-income families with the care of their pets, provide food. Mount Dora Community Trust does a fantastic job on maintaining assets. When she'd sell a house, money went into the fund. She was an amazing woman and we miss her every day. When Marie passed, I wondered what was gonna happen with Rich Critters. And I was honored when Mount Dora Community Trust reached out and asked if I would uh, be on the advisory committee because it's such a need in Lake County. Like Marie always said, you know, what can we do? How can we help? Scholarship funds are designated to help students cover expenses associated with all levels of education. Custom scholarships can be created to benefit specific students, backgrounds, schools, vocations, or regions. I'm John Liptak. Mom and I started the John Liptak Jr. Scholarship Fund in honor of my father, who passed away in 2001. The scholarship is designed for a boy or girl on a Mount Dora basketball team that has done their duty by getting out in the community and providing help to the ones that need it. We reached out to Mount Dora Community Trust and they were very, very helpful on how we should arrange this and so forth. I couldn't do it by myself. The money that we do make 
because they're investing it also and making it grow. So I think that's that's on them. I mean, they're they're doing that for me and for my dad. So amen for them. In addition to the importance of the data gathered, we're doubling down and developing deep and strategic relationships throughout the community to further guide our impact. Mount Dora Community Trust has launched its first Youth Philanthropy Council, made up of high school juniors and seniors. This passionate cohort will help ensure the spirit of giving in our community is perpetuated by theirs and the next generation. Hi, my name is Emma Farabee and I'm president of the Youth Philanthropy Council. The Youth Philanthropy Council is a student-led group that's partnered with the Mount Dora Community Trust and we're basically dedicated to bettering the community through philanthropic acts like grants, fundraisers, and service projects. The Mount Dora Community Trust and the Bland Charitable Trust, they're really important and impactful in letting us you know, make our own decisions, but also being that guiding hand when we need it. To get a better understanding of how impactful we can be, particularly to lesser known needs, causes, and efforts, look no further than the Mount Dora Community Trust's extremely successful and rapidly growing Giving Week. Over the course of three years, through our 2022 effort, Giving Week has raised in excess of $900,000 for more than 50 local organizations. And of that, $225,000 represents money contributed by Mount Dora Community Trust and various matching opportunities, increasing the impact of the raised funds by an additional 25%. The impact extends beyond just the dollars raised. Giving Week has, to date, resulted in more than 1,500 donations from 970 unique donors, which drove a 167% increase in fundraising from year one to year three. Whether a large or small organization, Giving Week has provided a platform to impact the micro community served by the organizations who truly make the most of their opportunity to participate in Giving Week. Hi, my name is Bobby D. Rowe. I am the president of the East Town Community Foundation. Through our participation with Giving Week through the Mount Dora Community Trust, the East Town Community Foundation was able to raise $22,389.99. We were able to give out thousands of toys, gift cards, clothes, diapers, uh, food, everything uh, during that week prior to Christmas. We met the needs of a lot of individuals that would not have had a wonderful Christmas had it not been from the impact of Giving Week through the Mount Dora Community Trust. Hi, I'm Denise Burry, the Executive Director of the Ford Paths Foundation. We've been participating in the Mount Dora Community Trust Giving Week for the last three years, and in doing so have brought in more than $130,000. I think donors love the fact that if they give a donation, then we're gonna get extra. And your donors taking some pride in what they're doing and giving to your organization, and then knowing that you get a little extra because they did. So there's no loser, it's, everybody's a winner. My name is Brenda Crellin, Executive Director for Lake Sumter Children's Advocacy Center. Because it was our first time doing the Giving Week, for us to take the uh, first place to win was very unexpected and the amount of money that was raised was very helpful. Our organization was able to raise the 60000 and then with the matching 15000 through the Mount Dora Community Trust, we were able to get 75000 What it helped us do is to serve more children in the community and there would be no kids that fall through the cracks if they need to receive the needed services that we offer for child abuse victims. Activation, inspiration, innovation, all with one purpose. Impact. 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 Make an impact on your community, today, tomorrow, and even beyond. We are Mount Dora Community Trust. Live here, give here.